room full of questions, but yeah. Okay, I'll start with the first. Uh, with regard to the Washington commitments, I want to believe, and we, we believe then, we believe still, that uh, those commitments were helpful to uh, creating confidence between the two parties. And we support the, the continued application of those, um, those commitments uh, as a way of creating diplomatic space for the dialogue to continue. So we see them as uh, confidence building measures in support of the EU-led dialogue. First on elections, we didn't have initial discussion on this issue together with Gabriel, with the leaders of Kosovo. I also want to say that this is not a, a dialogue issue, there is no dialogue agreement that uh, is arranging for uh, organizing elections, but uh, there is no doubt that uh, uh, what decision will be taken about the 3rd of April elections will have an impact on the, on the dialogue and on, on the atmosphere. So that's why we uh, had this, this discussion. You know, in principle, people should have the right to participate in democratic processes, uh, to exercise their democratic right to, uh, to cast their ballot. Uh, we spoke about existing established international practice. So uh, uh, it's very uh, important that we are not saying uh, that there must be an arrangement that has never been tried or tested anywhere else. Uh, so we spoke about existing models, but of course there is a need to find uh, I mean, there is a need for mutual consent in the first place and for agreeing on modalities. And this is, uh, of course, for uh, the, uh, the legitimate leaders of Kosovo and Serbia to engage. We at the international community are ready to help, and OSC is, is ready to offer their technical ex expertise. Uh, the issue about the association uh, or community of Serbian municipalities is uh, also an issue that is constantly present in our discussions. And, uh, let me give you my perspective on this. Uh, Kosovo is an equal party in the dialogue. Kosovo has a 50% of state. Uh, that means nothing can be imposed on Kosovo without Kosovo's agreement to it. So I hear so, so often that we don't want another public association. And I think that was very clear many times including in my recent interview that nobody wants to go with the first time There is a universal principle that says parta sunt servanda, that means what was agreed must be implemented. And this is what we are telling both parties. We, we are saying this in Pristina and we are saying it in Belgrade. You have made many commitments over the 11 years of dialogue. Uh, you have implemented many of them, but you, there is also a list of things you still have to do. For both Kosovo and Serbia. Association is one of them. But why don't we change the narrative? Why, instead of saying what we don't want, why don't we just say what we want, how we see these two functions? If we want to uh, end the existence of parallel structures, if we want transparency in financial flows, if we want clear rules uh, in the north, this could be all done uh, within the constitutional and legal system of Kosovo. So, my advice, in, don't be, stop being afraid of something that does not exist and no one will impose it on you. Uh, be self-confident, aware of the fact that you co-own this process and you are an equal partner and come up with, with what you, how you see this to function. There is absolutely no reason to be, to be, to be afraid of, of a process that you are driving together with, with Serbia and we are here to make sure that every decision that will be adopted will be based on European norms, standards, and values. As Mr. Leitchak uh, said, we believe that all prior agreements must be implemented. That said, we did not come here with a set prescription or proposal that we would like to implement, that we would like to impose. In fact, we're asking the two parties to be constructive, to provide their own visions of what the association should look like, and then negotiate from there, within, within the framework of the, of the dialogue. Well, I'll start with the first. Um, my point in mentioning that there are many options for the development of an association was to say that it doesn't have to be the kind of models that undermine Kosovo sovereignty or functionality. Uh, so we have to find one of those, in fact, and they need to be, they can be found, they can be negotiated, and they can be agreed to. 
And that is the purpose of the dialogue. That's not the purpose of the United States to impose one. It's not the purpose of the United States to choose one on behalf of two parties. However, we can help uh, if there are models that they would like to explore. We're happy to do that. With regard to uh, the question of recognition, it is our belief that the countries of the Western Balkans are some of the most dynamic uh, countries in all of Europe that they should all be members of the European Union, that they are European culturally, they're European historically, and they're European economically. So we would like to move beyond the dialogue to a, to a place where all the countries in the region recognize each other, are at peace with each other, and are on a path to European Union integration. I think I already answered your question, but I can uh, uh, repeat it once again. There is no conflict between uh, the positions of the European Union and the United States when it comes to the dialogue and also the outcome, final outcome of the dialogue. Uh, what the, the European formula says is that we do not exclude any outcome, we do not, we do not impose an outcome. We respect that it's uh, the responsibility of the two parties, that means Kosovo and Serbia, to agree what the final outcome will be.